guys, so today I have a spooky box club unboxing for you. Now I'm sure many of you have seen the photographs and the videos and the messages and the Facebook updates as the fact that England has been struck by a snowstorm. Now we didn't have much snow, the delivery driver delivered my spooky box and then suddenly there was a massive downpour of snow, a complete blizzard and now we are pretty much snowed in the house. So luckily I now have lots of time not to do my uni work and to film a Spooky Box Club unboxing. Now I do want to mention as I'm opening up this box, I would just like to notify you of the fact that Spooky Box Club has updated their prices. Um, it used to be just under £25 and it is now just under £27. So it's not too much of a jump but it still makes it just that step closer to £30 a month. So just, I thought I'd let you know in case you are planning to subscribe to Spooky Box Club that they have put their prices up slightly. But for this box, and I think we have another two boxes to come, it still is under the £25 price range. Now this month's box is kind of like a bug beetle themed box and it's called, and I'm gonna try and pronounce it, the Entomologists study which I believe is like the study of insects and beetles and bugs and things. So the sticker is this kind of white colour, it's kind of black and white, it has the name of the box written there and then it has lots of bugs and beetles and things behind there. Now when they released this theme I thought it may be a little bit hit and miss because I know some people love bugs and beetles, some people hate bugs and beetles, or you may be like me and you're just a little bit indifferent from them, I don't mind them, I don't hate them. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see what's in here. I have heard a few people say it's not the spookiest box that they've ever received but I'm still interested to see what sort of goodies it withholds. So on the top we have our cheat sheet which is green this month so we'll come back to that later. So straight up on top there are no like obvious wormies, let me have a little feel around the bottom. Okay so there's no wormies at all in this box and if I remember rightly in the last box we had there wasn't any wormies then either so perhaps they've stopped including worms. So right up on top I can feel some confetti, just move that out of the way, um, some kind of paper like maybe a print or something. Um, oh it looks like it may be a patch, let's see. It is really, I cannot pronounce anything, an Actius Luna, something moon, maybe it relates to moon moth and this seems to be a really lovely patch. So it looks like a really gorgeous moth or perhaps a type of butterfly. It has kind of little moon shapes on it so I'm wondering maybe that's where it gets its name from. It's this gorgeous kind of greeny colour with blue down the centre and it has these two kind of almost leaf-like antennae and in the background we have a lovely full moon. I'd perhaps even keep this background, maybe cut off that bottom bit and use it maybe within some scrapbooking or something. Let us open it up and see it a little bit closer. We haven't actually had a patch from Spooky Box Club for a little while and honestly I don't really do much with the patches. I was kind of ironing them on, ready to sew them on to my pin jacket and then they started falling off because I didn't get around to sewing them um, and so I kind of just have them dotted around the place but one day I will actually get my finger out and sew this on. Now this is like properly stuck to the card. I'm hoping to try and save this card but I'm not sure if I will be able to. Oh, it ripped a little bit. Okay, there's a little rip in the card, but I can just um, shove a bat sticker or something on it. So this is the patch, which now has this big sticky gloop on the back. They really could have stuck that down with a nicer material. Um, but it is, oh god, nice, that's good. Um, it's an iron-on patch, so the back of it is shiny, but as I just mentioned, I would definitely, definitely suggest if you are planning to iron this lovely moth butterfly thing onto anything, iron it and then sew around the edges because I have ironed on my Spooky Box Club patches and other patches, various different iron-on patches. I have never come across an iron-on patch that doesn't 
start to pick off after a few wears and since this is such a big one um it won't really bend and flex with your clothing very well so i definitely say sew that on but it's gorgeous there is so much detail within that there's lots of different colors it's fully kind of embroidered you can see all the different kind of shades of green in there and these little black circles which i assume is where it gets the kind of lunar kind of moon name from so that's a really nice patch it feels a really good quality i wouldn't really say this is spooky but this is so pretty i'd perhaps maybe like put this on the wall or something because it's quite a large patch but it's really gorgeous and this box is really already reminding me of a youtuber that i watch slash follow on instagram called charlotte octodog because she recently had the most gorgeous beetle tattoo done on her back and for some reason this moth is reminding me of her so next up i can feel another very thin piece of something or other it looks like it may be stickers from here um these are creepy crawlies peel and stick on nail decals for instant claw decor um it says these decals are printed on very thin and flexible vinyl so you can apply them onto your nails with ease stick them onto your nails and apply a thin coat of clear nail varnish now I'm not gonna lie to you, I am pretty boring when it comes to my nails. I wear the same nail varnish day in, day out, until it grows out like it has now, and then I go and get it redone exactly the same. So I don't know if I'll be using these as nail decor pieces, but I probably will be sticking them elsewhere. And I'm really gutted I didn't get this box like a week ago, because I just had a assignment due in for uni that was a scrapbook, and I needed lots of beetles and things, so I printed them all off and cut them out, but these would have been perfect. And I definitely think my sister is going to be stealing some of these because I know that she loves dragonflies So there's a really good selection of bugs and beetles here. There's lots of different ladybirds um, Dragonflies as I said some beetles some bugs kind of fly looking things like even um, a little bee or a wasp there So there's lots of different ones. And I think these will look really gorgeous on your nails But I'm gonna open up and see if perhaps I'll be able to use this um, on other stuff so what shall I stick on my nail that will show up? Maybe a little dragonfly. Well, they're quite easy to get off. Let's have a go. Okay, so it's stuck on there pretty nicely and it kind of looks pretty sturdy on there. Like you could probably get away with putting these on your nails if you just wanted them on there for a night. Um, I have stuck this one on in a slightly weird place. It's like half flying off my nail, but it's stuck on there really nicely. It's nice and smooth. It's not catching at all. They're a good thickness as well. Some of the ones you get are so thin that they crumple up or they're so thick that they don't kind of go to the shape of your nail. But these seem to be a really nice thickness and quality. And maybe I will stick some on my nails. But yeah, I'm pleased with those. And you definitely be able to apply them to other things just like general stickers so I may apply some of these to kind of cards and things I make but I'll definitely be getting some use out of these stickers so next up we have another thin feeling thing and this I can see various different bugs on oh are these more stickers spooky box no I love my stickers um it looks like this is another set of stickers. Again, um, this isn't a custom piece, much like the um, nail stickers. I feel like they are kind of pieces they've bulk bought from like a bigger chain, but I still do really like them. I love the fact that it kind of looks almost like it's been ripped out of an old bug book. Um, but I really like it. They are all individual stickers. There's a little locust on there and I can see multiple locusts in my dragon tank right now because I've just fed my dragon. It's kind of made to look like an insect sheet. We have a old world swallowtail butterfly here. A great purple emperor. We have some little bees here, some ladybirds. A small white butterfly, a golden ridged dragonfly, we have our locusts here, a Japanese jewel beetle, a stag beetle, rhinoceros beetle, a blue longhorn beetle, a... is that a praying mantis? And of course some tiny little ants at the bottom. So these are all stickers, they're on kind of regular sticker paper. Um, let's just peel the edge off of this to see. So they're quite nice thick stickers, they feel nice and sticky and good quality. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, again would have been very helpful to have put these in my outdoor learning scrapbook for uni, um, but I'm sure I can find some use for them. I'm sure my dragon will enjoy having the locust sticker stuck on his vivarium. I do like the way that they have laid it out. 
So, so far I'm liking the items that we've got in this box. They're not particularly spooky, but I guess if you were scared of bugs you'd probably find it quite spooky. So next up in here I can feel something a little bit more substantial. It feels, oh it's quite big. It feels like a very large and chunky fabric item. I think it may be a bag with like thick handles. So, oh cute, it is quite a large bag um, and it has got various different bugs on it so I'm going to open it up just because I can't really see what it is when it's in this crinkly outer layer. Okay so it is a really nice quality bag. This is definitely, do you mind? This is definitely a lot nicer quality than some of the other fabric pieces we've got. Not saying they haven't been a good quality but this is like a very thick material. It is doubly lined, it has proper hefty handles. This seems really really nicely made. Is this a custom piece? Does it have a Spooky Box Club? It does. Spooky Box Club name in it with a little pocket for putting your phone I guess um, or important things in. So it is a large black tote bag. Um, you could use this as obviously a handbag or maybe a beach bag and we actually did get a beach bag in the spooky summer box I believe and I do use it every single day. It's that grey one with pink skulls. I can see it but I'm not going to bother digging it out but I use it every single day for carting my clothes back and forth from different houses. This could be a good kind of alternative. Um, it has very very nice handles as I said they're quite thick and they have been sewn at the top so that they're kind of slightly thicker. I think that's just to aid with like the comfort of it because holding this part would be kind of a little bit uncomfortable um, but the way they've sewn it over makes it slightly easier to hold. Um, it is just a big black square bag. It is plain on the back so you could decorate the back if you wanted to but the main decoration that they've put on there is of course bug themed since this is a bug themed box and it says stop bugging me and then it has spooky box club at the bottom and we've got some various different bugs around the outside so we've got a death head moth at the top which is of course which i always think is kind of like the signature spooky bug that there is out there it seems to be on so many pieces of clothing and jewelry and things we've got um, a little butterfly there um, another white one there a little kind of yellowy one and then we have what looks like one of those lunar moths you could perhaps put no, it doesn't quite line up. Um, but you could maybe stick the patch on this bag to add kind of like a little friend um, for the moth. And then there's another little yellow butterfly there. This has been put on with a kind of vinyl transfer. So I probably would go as far to say that possibly it wouldn't be good to wash this or iron this too much. Just because I feel like it's the type of vinyl that may crack if it's kind of overused but I definitely think that like on a bag it would be perfectly fine. I think that cracking vinyl is more of a problem when it's kind of like on a t-shirt or something. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that bag. As I said it does have a little inside pocket um, for putting things in. It doesn't have a zip or anything at the top but I think this would be a good little shopping bag. I may actually leave this in my car as a kind of emergency shopping bag if I just happen to walk into the shops and decide I need something. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. It seems like a really good quality. I'm not sure if I would have bought it if I'd seen it in a shop but I'm still pleased with it. So that kind of took up the majority of this box. I can feel a lollipop sticking up on the top and it is a red and yellow lolly. So I'll give it a try. Now some of you very observant people may have noticed I have this big black band around this side of my arm now. I have got a Fitbit because I am trying to make healthier life choices. I am attempting to try and lose a little bit of my puppy fat. <laughs> But unfortunately that means I'm trying to cut out sort of snacking in between meals, boo, other than chocolate because we all need chocolate. So I will of course try this but I'm not sure whether or not I'll be finishing it unless it is absolutely amazingly tempting. I have to say it doesn't have like an overwhelming flavour. Sometimes these lollies taste like straight out like strawberry or straight out like licorice or something. But this just tastes like a sugary, normal, like, sweet rock kind of thing. So it doesn't have a specific flavour, but it is a really nice colour. I'm guessing they 
decided to make it these bright colours to kind of correspond with some of these kind of butterfly and moth wings. It's not the worst lolly I've ever tasted, it's not the best lolly I've ever tasted, and I can probably fight the temptations to finish it off later. Okay, so, next up, we have what feels like it could be another patch because I put the patch back in the box, well done. Um, so there are still a few more bits in here. Finally, I just found the pin and ooh, it looks like it is a bug. And again, this is completely reminding me of Charlotte Octodog because it looks somewhat sort of similar to the bug that she had tattooed, although her beetle was like a really nice green color, whereas this one is blue. Now, some of you may notice that my pin jacket is looking slightly bare than last time. You may not notice. But I have taken a couple of pins off of here, namely the pumpkin pins. Now, I know there are still a few pumpkins here, but it's because I had doubles of this one. Um, but I have started a new pin jacket, which is just for pumpkin pins. So if any of you see any nice pumpkin pins out there, holler at me, send me a link, because I am making a pumpkin patch jacket. Do you know what? I'm just going to show you. So I got this gorgeous leather jacket for my birthday and I've decided to make it pumpkin themed. Um, I do have another pumpkin pin which goes on this side but it's currently still in its packaging because it is waiting for me to film a haul regarding it. Um, but I have these three pumpkin pins on here so far and I stuck a little cat on there just because of course we need a black cat. Um, but I'm looking for pins to fill this side and perhaps more of it and I'm not too sure what to put on the back of it yet. I'm still deciding what to paint but that went completely off topic. I now have another pin for my pin jacket. So on here it just says that it is custom made and limited edition. Sometimes they give the pins a name, but this time they did not. The card on the background is the same as the sticker on the front of the box. And I do really like this pin. Again, I'm not sure if I would have bought it if I like had seen it in a shop, um, but I still do really like it. I like the color that they've chosen. It's a really nice and bright blue. And I don't actually think I own very many blue pins. It does just have one pin back. I do always really like the pins that we get from Spooky Box Club. They always seem to be a really nice quality. And you can tell that they are all custom made just because on the back of the pin it does say Spooky Box Club. So let's see if I can find a gap to put this in. I think I'm gonna put it down here just because there was a smiling pumpkin in this gap here, um, but I took it off to put on my other jacket. And also I love having my kind of pin themes there is also a spider on this side so it will go very nicely with the little bug and as you can see that shows up really nicely I love the kind of colourful pins that Spooky Box kind of send to us it does make them show up really nicely I lie we do have a blue pin and it is actually quite a large pin so it shows up really really nicely now, actually I don't really have that many pins that are kind of gold backed but the background of this pin um, is golden rather than silver and then you have the black kind of enamel and the blue and there are tiny little golden dots on the blue parts of the beetle so I'm really pleased with that so by the feels of it there are two organza bags which probably means that there are two pieces of jewelry in here so this first one feels like it is wrapped in bubble wrap and it is in a black organza bag and i can see a bit of paper in there as well and it looks like this is a necklace i'm gonna read the bit of paper first because i assume it's in there because it's meant to be red it says that this butterfly specimen is cruelty free. The butterfly died naturally and was collected afterwards. There may be little imperfections on the wings as the butterflies were not killed for purpose. Therefore, damage may have occurred during their natural life. We hope you love your necklace and feel this is a beautiful way to honor and preserve such magnificent creatures long after they've gone. I know that kind of taxidermy can be slightly controversial, but I am all for it as long as the animals have died naturally and there is no cruelty in their death um i am absolutely fine with it i do actually have a few kind of skulls and things on my curiosity shelves um i do always make sure that before buying them or sourcing them that it is completely cruelty free and they are kind of found naturally dead this is a necklace it's kind of a bronzy almost gun metal color it's quite a long necklace as you can see um it does have a clip on it but 
you can put it over your head very easily um, and it doesn't have an extension chain on it and the chain that it's on is not long enough for you to wear it at any other height other than the chain that it is on. Now I think it's going to be quite hard to get this chain off but if you did really want to you could take the end um, part off of the chain and it would probably slip out and you can put it on a different chain. But I feel with this kind of necklace it probably will look slightly nicer lower down anyway. So this is the necklace with the butterfly wing and I really hope you can see this really dark kind of purpley blue colour. Now in some lights this wing looks completely brown. I think that's such a gorgeous wing. It has all these little circles on it and, and on the other side it's this kind of greeny almost like a mossy kind of frost colour there. It's absolutely gorgeous and I really like the way that they have displayed it in this little glass half test tube thing. It does feel like a nice quality. I do think, however, that this is not the kind of necklace that you want to be wearing every single day or in the rain or in the shower or anything like that, um, just because it probably will tarnish um, or potentially break because I can see that the lid of this has just been kind of glued on. Um, but it is quite a long necklace. It's coming down to underneath my chest but still above my belly button um, and the good length is perfect for layering because obviously I can wear a million necklaces at the top and this one will probably still be longer so I'm very pleased with that necklace I do have a few necklaces which are relatively similar to this already but I'm sure I'll get some wear out of it and if not I'm sure my sister will steal it so that leaves one more organza bag left in here and from the feels of it it is some more jewellery so again it is very bubble wrapped this one doesn't have any paper in it but I can see a big sort of circle so let's take it out of the organza bag oh this one also has a very long chain and this one does actually I've noticed have a SBC little circle on it so this is obviously a custom piece um okay it's then wrapped in some like sticky plastic and it looks like this may be a magnifying glass which is very interesting I definitely don't have a magnifying glass whoa that's definitely a magnifying glass magnifying glass um necklaces before this could be way too fun to play with so this is a magnifying glass necklace as you can see it is a magnifying what it sees through here um it seems like a really nice quality it's very different i haven't got any necklaces like this and i feel like even when you're not using it as a magnifying glass it will look really cool i quite like the style of that just kind of a plain it looks like a plain glass circle it does also have a little charm um on it as well so again this is a very long necklace that can fit around your neck and actually in fact it is ever so slightly longer than the first butterfly necklace that we got again not particularly spooky but i still do like it and i don't think i would have bought it but now that i have played with it i definitely would have bought it if that makes any sense whatsoever but this is a silver necklace and i love my silver jewelry again it does not have an extension chain on there not that you'd want it much larger it has a general lobster clasp but the chain is not big enough to wear it any shorter um, and I feel like this needs to be a long necklace because when I wear it I think I'm constantly going to just be like holding it up to my eye looking around for clues um, so I feel like it works well as a large necklace so it kind of hangs like this so you have your um, magnifying glass at the bottom and then it does have this little charm um, which is completely separate and on it it does have a little kind of engraved ladybird which is really cute um, and on the back it says SBC for Spooky Box Club but I think I'd wear it with the little ladybird on the front. You could very easily remove the charm if you didn't want it on there but I think it adds a little snazz to the necklace and I do think it's a very interesting concept. Concept. It is quite thick as you can see and it is made out of a really nice quality glass and silver so I'm very pleased with that. I definitely feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with this magnifying glass. So that is everything which we got in this Spooky Box Club box. Um, I do like this box. It's not that I disliked it, I just don't think it's overly spooky. When I think of spooky I think of Halloween and 
ghosts and bats and pumpkins and things but of course they have to have different themes and the things that they put in this box went really well with the theme so I kind of got what I was expecting if that makes any sense whatsoever um I'm pleased with the quality of the items I think overall I'm so pleased with the quality of this and also the um stop bugging me bag they both feel really really good quality and I definitely feel like these are what probably the majority of our money went towards and inside they have chosen some bug related confetti so there's some of these black spider webs and these tiny little purple spiders so I'll quickly go through the cheat sheet and make sure that we got everything that we should have got so first thing was the custom made stop bugging me bag which as I said I'm very very pleased with the quality of the custom made blue and gold beetle pin which I've put onto my jacket the large lunar moth patch here it is um which is as I said iron on the specimen glass necklace which is this one the craft sticker pack was this really nice little craft paper the custom made magnifying glass pendant which I'm very excited to use the creepy crawlies nail decor which was this little sheet of stickers and the handcrafted gourmet lollipop so that is everything which we got in this spooky box club not the best box I've ever got, not the worst box I've ever got. As I said, I think if you are really a fan of bugs and beetles and things, this box would be absolutely perfect for you. If you are scared of bugs and beetles or magnifying glasses, this is not the box um, for you. But I'm pretty indifferent. I don't love them. I don't hate them. But I do really like the stuff that we got in this box. And I am pleased with this month's Spooky Box Club. Um what is the next box i feel like they've got some very weird themes coming up of course they've been doing spooky box club for a really long time in fact it does actually tell you on here that this is their 36th box so i'm not surprised that their themes are getting a little bit more wacky and out there but i'm still really pleased with this month i'm still going to stay subscribed of course to spooky box club so i'm excited to see what next month's box so thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye